And joining us on the broadcast this minute to further delve into those aspects is senior journalist Ray Locker, live from Washington, D.C. Uh, Ray, thanks for speaking with us. A lot of uh, expectations in the air and uh, speculation that, of course, has been doing the rounds over the trade-related discussions. What, according to you, will Washington bring to the negotiating table? I think mostly they're going to bring an attitude of goodwill. They're going to try to... Uh, you know, extract some concessions from the Indian government. But nobody here expects any kind of major deal on trade, at least, at least during this trip. I think it's mostly kind of like a tourist visit for President Trump, one that hel helps him, uh, you know, cement his relationship with Narendra Modi, which he's been developing, and that's really about it. Beyond the optics, uh, the very fact that it is the first family after all visiting and uh, uh, the kind of relationship that the two leaders share, uh, Prime Minister Modi and President Trump. What does this really mean uh, for uh, India on the international stage and also specifically for the India-U.S. relationship? Well, I think it's a great sign for India. I mean, it uh, makes Prime Minister Modi look more and more like a relevant, powerful world leader. He's recognized by President Trump, the President of the United States. That's always important. Um, and, but the U.S.-India relationship transcends whoever happens to be the Prime Minister or President. Uh, the ties between the two countries are strong and only getting stronger economically, socially, politically. Um, and I don't think anything's going to happen during this visit that will change that. Right, a lot of optics, of course, and uh, which uh, means that this will further solidify the relationship between the two sides. You're saying nothing uh, major is expected when it comes to the trade discussions. But at the same time, ironing out the sticking points, do you think that's something that uh, might uh, be expected by the two sides and the free trade agreement? Uh, do we see any movement uh, forward on that front? Well, you never know. I mean, President Trump's a very spontaneous person. He may have an idea that he wants to bring something forward and do that if he wants to make a big splash. He's a showman. We've seen that in many cases. Very often, nothing really happens. Uh, there's a lot of activity, but nothing really happens. So, um, you know, that's an issue that I think we need to work, uh, watch out for. Right. And uh, in terms of the strategic partnership, uh and uh, uh, the various defense deals that have been talked about, do we expect any surprise factor on that front as well? Um, I think I lost your audio for a minute. If you want to try me again on that question. Sure, no, no problem. I was saying uh, apart from uh, the trade-related discussions, the defense partnership and the strategic partnership overall, do we expect any uh, surprise factor on that front since we're talking about how spontaneous the American president is? No, I don't really think anything uh, spontaneous will change that. I mean, there's that helicopter deal, about 24 helicopters worth about $2.4 billion. Um, I mean, if India wants to buy more U.S. Uh, armaments and military equipment, I'm sure President Trump will be more than happy to sell it to him. Um, you know, again, like with trade, the relationship between the two countries on national security is only getting stronger. Obviously, the U.S. sees India as kind of a counterbalance against Chinese influence in the area. Um, you know, the United States and India have a lot of history together, and I think, you know, that's only going to continue in terms of national security policy. What, according to you, will be the issues that uh, the president uh, uh, will definitely not uh, bring up or has been advised to not bring up? I was going to talk about Kashmir. I talk about your bill. I don't think he really knows anything about those two issues. He can be briefed, but as countless people who have briefed the president have said, he doesn't retain a whole lot. Um, he retains things that have to do with, you know, whether the United States has been slighted in any way. Um, I don't think that's happened with those two issues. I don't think he's going to force uh, President Modi to do much of anything on those issues. So if people in India are worried about that, I don't think they have much to be worried about. Right. And uh, if we were also to look at uh, the very fact that this is a great opportunity to also send out a strong message to China, given uh, the back and forth that has already taken place on a number of issues between China and uh, the U.S., uh, what do you think 
uh, will be uh, factors that will be looked at uh, by the two sides when it, when it comes to uh, uh, the China threat? Well, I think, you know, any kind of naval cooperation, things that touch on the South China Sea issue, you know, I know that's not necessarily in India's backyard, but it's something that would show some kind of solidarity between India and the United States. Um, any any of the sticking points between China and India on security, if uh, India wants to bring those up with President Trump and he's feeling so inclined, I think that would be helpful to the Indian government in this regard.